start with the uh, order A. Now order A, okay, you write uh, the uh okay, so the gross profit margin, right, is now uh, gross profit margin is how much uh, 50, 50,000, uh, okay, which is higher uh, right than order B, uh, uh, so which is higher than order B. Uh. Now, uh, by high, uh, higher by how much? Eh? Uh, then you may also give your calculation. Uh. Now, however, okay, order A. Uh, okay, however, right, the gross profit margin is lower. Okay, right, at how many percent? 50%, uh, right? Uh, so it's lower at 50%. Okay, so. When the gross profit margin is lower at fifty percent, okay, what do you mean by that? So it means what? The cost of sales, okay, cost of sales, uh, okay, is higher, uh, right? The cost of sales is higher, okay, because when you look at the revenue, uh, revenue actually is uh, higher, uh, Option A is higher than option B, right? But the cost of sales is also higher than option B, so that's why your gross profit margin may be lower. Uh, Okay, the formula you no need to include in your questions, okay, in your answer. You can do your formula on a piece of paper as a draft. Uh, importantly, the answer must be correct. Okay, all this answer you calculated uh, must be correct. Uh, then only you get up to level two, uh, all right? Now, so the cost of sale is higher, uh, right, compared to your order B, okay? Now, after that, now you also may uh, include your net profit margin. Uh, uh, working also no need to include, right? Working, you can write it as your draft. Okay, on a draft paper, right? So as I say, importantly, is your final answer from your calculation must be correct. Uh, all right. Now, so here, <clears throat> uh, for the net profit margin, right? Before that, net profit is, okay. So just now calculation, uh, net profit is uh, 25,000, right? Which is higher, okay? Than the uh, order B, right? So net profit is 25,000, which is higher. And same thing, uh, however, right? However, the net profit margin, okay? Net profit margin is at, okay, the net profit margin uh, is lower at now 25%. Uh, okay, uh, so here, uh, you have all these uh, calculation, the figures ready, uh, then you will get up to level two, lah, right? Now then order B, so now order B, lah, so it's the same thing, right? So you just write out the gross profit is how much, okay? So gross profit is, for order B, gross profit is 30,000, uh, okay? Uh, and it's lower, right? It's lower than order A, right? However, okay, however, the gross profit margin Okay, is at uh sixty percent right higher than the order A, right? Then for the net profit of yeah, the net profit is twenty thousand lower, right? Than the order A, and for the same thing, net profit margin, right? Net profit margin is higher. Okay, at 40 percent than order eight okay now if it's net profit is lower now what you can write about that eh? yes expenses could be higher or your gross profit would be lower okay now so for the net profit margin and gross profit margin uh, now what you can evaluate based on your margin so here is the ticks uh. now if they ask you for liquidity or profitability what is your evaluation okay so here we do some uh, okay okay here now so for the gross profit margin, uh, when they ask you for comparison, now what you can evaluate based on your gross profit margin, uh, when it is increased or decreased or higher or lower, uh, right? So basically you can write the efficiency, okay, in controlling the cost of sales. Uh, so the efficiency in controlling the cost of sales, uh, right? So this is how, okay, you may use it for your evaluation based on the gross profit margin from two years or from two businesses, okay? Or another one, net profit margin. Now, net profit margin, what does it measure? 
same thing is the efficiency in controlling the expenses of business. Uh, so here, these are the evaluations are uh, based on your profitability ratios. Uh, all right. Now, one more thing that you can compare between gross profit margin and net profit margin uh, is about their revenue and gross profit. Uh, okay? okay. So if it's gross profit margin is higher, means revenue may be higher or the cost of sales may be lower. Then net profit margin also the same thing based on your formula. Your gross profit may be higher or expenses may be higher or lower. All right. Uh, so this is for evaluation uh, when you want to make a comparison between two businesses or two years of uh, the gross profit margin and net profit margin. All right. And the difference uh, between your gross profit margin and net profit margin, uh, there's actually another calculation you can use, uh, which is called expenses ratio. Uh, this is something that's not in your, uh, I don't think it's in your syllabus, uh, but you can use it uh, actually, right? Expenses ratio means use your gross profit margin, okay? You minus your net profit margin. Uh, so this is called expenses ratio. Uh, so sometimes your gross profit margin may be high, but why net profit margin may be low? Uh, then because of the expenses ratio is higher due to the inefficiency in controlling the expenses. Uh, so this is the evaluation. Uh, when they ask you compare these two, uh, right, between each of them, uh, gross profit margin and net profit margin, when you control, uh, when you compare them, uh, why is high in gross profit but low in net profit margin because of the expenses ratio is high. All right. Now, so this is the uh, evaluation uh, based on your profitability ratio, uh, gross profit margin, net profit margin. Okay. Now, so next, right, go back to here. Now, so how you make a conclusion? Now, basically, actually, it's quite obvious, uh, order A or order B that you would choose, eh, right? Personally, I would choose order, order B, uh, right? So I would choose order B. Okay, order B should be, uh, should, uh, sorry, uh, you can write uh, ST, right? Okay, so you can go back to the question, you see. Now, ST should, right, accept order B cause right it shows a higher okay profitability margin okay in terms of right uh gross profit margin okay and <clears throat> net profit margin uh, right uh, then you can compare uh, right why so this okay indicate all right, this indicator, uh, order B, okay, is better, right, uh, or is more efficient, okay, right, you know, indicate order B is, right, is more efficient, okay, in controlling the expenses and cost of sales compare to uh, you can write compare to order a because due to higher cost of sales and expenses for order a uh, so here in my conclusion right uh this one you need to make a comparison uh, between the two orders a and b uh, so you see uh when i write order b okay why i should order b Oh shit. Okay, why I choose order B? Uh, so because order B higher profitability. This is your evaluation. Then you explain why uh, because they have a greater or a stronger profit margin in term of right in term of your uh gross profit margin and net profit margin. And why when there's a better profit margin because of more efficient in quarterly expenses, and then compare to order A, uh, right? Compared to order A. So actually, you are indirectly saying that order A is lower profitability margin, right? And then after that, if you want to write more, you can write because due to order A, they may have a higher cost of sales, right? Higher cost of sales and expenses, right? Compare with order B, okay? From A, okay? Now, so, yeah, expenses ratio, actually, you can use since that it's about efficiency of controlling expenses, you can use it, right? Now, uh, do I need to effect on business writing A and B, like how the lower profit margin affect? Actually, calculation is enough already, right? Calculation is enough already because just now I said, calculation, uh, you can get up to level two already. So level two is enough for eight marks uh, maximum. And of course, with your prof, uh, evaluation, another two marks and also application, another two marks, right? 
Yeah, you can increase the strength and weakness of the product up to you as long as you make a comparison between these two orders, right? These two orders, uh, uh, so your comparison, okay, maybe on their weakness, on their strength, advantages, disadvantages, yes, you can compare, okay? You can compare the strength and weakness, advantages, disadvantages, benefit, limitation, everything, uh, positive, negative, uh, right? Uh, so as long as you make a comparison, you are doing the right thing already, okay? Clear? Now, so this is how we answer your question B when based on the calculation, all right? 